This week is going to be a very important week for Halo Infinite. Some key features are being launched this week and we could see an update when it comes to the server status of Halo Infinite see if things are going to improve at all. As well as some announcements to look out for. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So the big item this week guys is the August drop pod. I did have a video go up earlier last week about this entire thing in more detail which I'll link at the end of this video if you guys want to check that one out. This is launching on August 9th guys it's Tuesday so be ready for that. This update brings the beginning of cross core customization coming to Halo Infinite. First we're going to be looking at the visors where it sounds like all visors for the most part are going to be cross core available which is going to be a great addition for customization. I know it sm sounds small but a visor can really solidify the look that you want to have for your character. Also, Mark 7 attachments are going to be available as well for all of the Mark 7 armor sets. Now, they did state that not all of the attachments are going to be available for all helmets as some are specifically designed for a helmet, but this is a step in the right direction. A huge quality of life improvement is that you'll be able to see your challenges at the start menu in the middle of a game so you can keep up to date with what exactly you need to do for the match. And another thing to look out for that after two weeks of this draw pod, guys, ranked and social doubles will be coming into Halo Infinite. Now, but it does sound like there might be a little bit of a shakeup when it comes to the matchmaking playlists. 343 stated here that we'll monitor the health of ranked doubles in all our playlists after its addition to matchmaking lineup. If all players continue to perform as expected, we'll keep these additions and continue experimenting with adding more ranked playlists in the future like ranked free-for-all hopefully but to me it kind of sounds like they're willing to kind of mix up a little bit when it comes to the playlist of halo infinite i do remember that 343 stated that for season two they want to do a rotational playlist kind of situation and while we haven't had that at all which we could possibly see some lesser played playlists get in the boot once we get some concrete information about exactly how the playlists are going to you know, switch around a little bit i'll let you guys know here on the channel now, i know many of you are thirsty for some halo news and information but one way to quench that thirst is with Glitch Energy. Glitch has been a fantastic supporter of the channel here, guys, and anything you guys want to check out definitely helps support the channel as well. Tons of sugar-free, quick dissolve energy drinks for you guys to enjoy as well, as well as some supplements if it's kind of your thing on top of that. And if you use my code KevinCoolX at checkout, you get 25% off your purchase and it helps support the channel as well. And I would say from my personal experience of trying out Glitch Energy, guys, it actually does give you a nice little lift of energy without having that crash that you have from like energy drinks that are super sugary, those things like Monster. Uh, bread bowls and all this other kind of stuff they're just like packed full of sugar and it's not good for your health glitch energy does the exact opposite and provides you something that's actually tasty and also has sugar-free options so thank you glitch for supporting the channel and let's get right back into those details now a big thing actually happened over the weekend in case you missed it guys and that is that the na super winner was announced and that was optic gaming walked away with forty five thousand dollars in their pocket but the big upset team g1 i was telling you guys in my hts video last week watch out for g1 they've been grinding tournaments they've been putting in the time and effort and well it came to fruition for them for finishing second place they actually beat out cloud nine and three owed sentinels to get into second place also if you watched a certain amount of time of these hs events last weekend you have a chance to earn these different types of bit of customization a cool new coating as well as a plasma grenade weapon charm make sure you check your twitch inventory to accept the drop as well as making sure that your account with twitch and your microsoft account are linked together oftentimes if you miss some of these things out that some of the other associated twitch streamers that have drops enabled might be able to have, help you add some more time to your total to be able to earn these unlocks now in last week's video i did state that i did expect to see these diamond coatings be available for twitch drops but it doesn't seem like that was the case and so it's either going to be in the orlando event happening at the end of september or the seattle finals event happening at the end of october which these will be HCS Twitch drops. They won't be able to have these in game or something like that. So if you want them to be looking nice and shiny and extra diamondy, well, you gotta watch some HCS, HCS events because this was confirmed by Tashi. Because the HCS lead himself did state that there are more to come when it comes to these coatings. He mentioned this back with the Valencia announcement with this Twitch drop of the pistol will have a diamond coating to that. So these are gonna be tight to HCS event, guys. So if you want to have your diamond coating, you're gonna have to watch some competitive Halo, which not that bad because the great thing about watching competitive halo is that you learn so much about the game you'll improve a lot you get to see these pros at such a high level how they place the reticles their movement the different types of jumps that they can make and interesting shots where you're like i didn't think of that angle previously this will be a great way to actually improve your game 
by watching HCS. So that's kind of what's happening with Halo this week, though we do have some potential information coming out later this week about some announcements We're talking about Forge and Campaign Co-op. Because Campaign Co-op is still slated to launch at the late end of August. So we could see when that announcement date comes out, maybe possibly this week, we could see an announcement date. Most likely this will launch on a Tuesday. So my guess is that we could see the release of Campaign Co-op either on August 23rd or August 30th. So I fully believe we could see an announcement of the release date coming later this week. Of course, once we get to the information, guys, I'll let you guys know here on the channel. So another announcement I totally expect to see when it comes to flighting in Halo Infinite is the Forge flight, guys. It's still slated for September, but if you guys remember when they were announcing the co-op flight happening, you could try to get people to sign up for the Insider program, right? They said this back on June 7th, where the flight for co-op ended up happening, I believe on July 15th, if I remember correctly. So essentially a full month in advance trying to get people heads up like hey make sure you sign up make sure you sign up we could be seeing the same kind of thing happening here where we might not get a full-on date but we'll start seeing 343 and halo kind of start you know pressing the issue like hey don't forget to sign up for the insider program guys because uh we need your help right here which if you guys have been missing out on some of the forge leaks and stuff like that has been going on since the campaign uh, co-op flight had that sneaky build of forge in there people have been going off with it. So I am super excited to see what people can do with Forge once they actually get like the true flight build because apparently this like sneaky build that they had in the co-op flight doesn't even have all the features that they plan to launch with with Halo Infinite's Forge. Like the lighting, they said that's not even proper lighting that they have in this uh, leaked build that's been going around right now. So things are only gonna get better with Forge from what you've seen right now. But of course, once we get those details, I'll share it with you guys here on the channel. And I do fully expect to see some information about the server stability in Halo Infinite. Recently, the NA Super happened online, guys, and there were definitely some issues that happened with the connectivity of Halo Infinite servers. Pro player Lucid showed this earlier on his Twitch channel. The start of this game with the packet loss and constant ping fluctuations for the past like minute or two. You gotta reset the servers or some shit. Need to need to get something out. So even when Lucid was saying like, hey, because when clip that, he does have a ping fluctuation happen again. I've been having this issue as well, and I haven't really heard much from 343 about the progress that they've made when it comes to this server issue. I mean, it certainly was an issue when it came to the NA Super. You know, most of the time it was working all right, but there were some shots that were a bit iffy because of the whole online issue with their servers. When, well, 343 did state this previously throughout the Halo support Twitter, stating that the Halo Infinite team is investigating reports of packet loss and fluctuating ping in matchmaking. You can help our team by investigating and enabling the network statistics and clipping videos for them and stuff like that to put into a ticket there. Now, this was tweeted out originally back on July 28th. We haven't really heard much about it since, though we could see some information happen this week about it because it certainly is a very important thing to have a stable ping when it comes to playing online games. And since it's been about a week and a half since that tweet, I would expect to see some progress made so far, so I will keep an eye out, guys, if we do get some information about the stability of the servers and see if anything's going to be fixed up with that. So if you guys want to know everything happening with the August Drop Pod, because I just kind of skimmed over the most important details, guys, check out this video right here. I got a link that got created for you guys to check out and get all the information that you need to know about it. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.